Today's caper is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know. Five San Diego, five This is Shanti Raju. She plays tennis and the viola. She speaks Telugu and has traveled all over Europe. This is Jamar George. He enjoys bike riding and he speaks Spanish and French. This is Rebecca Green. She speaks Spanish and Hebrew. She recently went to Cheyenne where she ate a corn dog and saw a rodeo. And this is Nimoy, Carmen San Diego's antisocial extraterrestrial ectoplasm. Nimoy. Our last known whereabouts, Cuba. This island nation is home to the world's smallest bird, the bee hummingbird. These dinky guys are only about two inches long from bill to tail and weigh less than a penny. They lay eggs half the size of jelly beans. Bee hummers can flap their wings about 80 times per second. They're so small and fast that even bird experts often mistake them for insects. The bee hummingbird is found only in Cuba, or it was until today, mm. when Nimoy cruised into ah. Cuba with a bright idea. <laughs> Disguised as a flower, she tempted the hummers, then hauled them off. She plans to turn them into the Roddenberry and Tabernacle ah. Choir. Gumshoes, mm. you've got to grab that flying felon, catch Carmen, and undo <laughs> the bee bird burglary. <laughs> And here's Acme senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! I got you all right, I got you. Hi, guys. Hi, Thank you a lot, thank you. How are you? Is it Shanti? Shanti, Jamar, Rebecca, nice to see you guys. How are you? Listen, I just want to remind you, if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that isn't bad. <laughs> so to help you out, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. And you guys know how this is played, right? So I, we're going to go into that, so I'll use that time to kind of go through my mail, if you don't mind. I haven't really had a chance to go through it. Wait a minute, what is this thing here? <laughs> it's like it's been in the mail for a while. Oh, check it out. It's postmarked Taos Pueblo, March 5th, 1321. Hey, look, it's, it's the thumb blister sweeping house clear stakes. It says I'm a finalist, you guys. All right, I'm gonna win. I can't believe this. All right, well, this is pretty simple. All I have to do is lick a few stamps, right? Fill out a few things. And wait a minute, hold on. There's, there's a clue right here. It says, look for the birds in Taos Pueblo, a village not far from the Rio Grande River in a southwestern state. Wait a minute, I've, I've been there before. I, I, I worked a case there, as a matter of fact, and I saw some of the oldest apartment houses in North America. Five stories tall, hundreds of rooms. They date back to about seven centuries. Now, the descendants of the people who built them still live there today. Okay, millionaire hood, here I can... Wait a minute. Hold it a second. Oh, man. The expiration date is in 1326. So close, and yet so far away. Okay, guys, name the state, if you will, please. Is it New Mexico, Texas, or Arizona? Remember the clues that we heard? Taos Pueblo, southwestern state, and not far from the Rio Grande River. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Trying to find Nimoy and the hummingbirds. Everybody's ready. Shanti, what do you think? I said New Mexico. New Mexico. Jamar? <laughs> I said Texas. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What's so funny? I said Texas. But why is it funny? I don't know. Okay. Rebecca, what do you think? I said New Mexico. New Mexico. The answer we're looking for is New Mexico. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, as you know, we give you 10 crime bucks every time you give us a correct answer. So that means Shanti, you have 60, Jamar, 50 crime bucks, and Rebecca, 60 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. For our next clue, it's time for those fast talking felines scratch and bite. Calling 911, where the caribou's from. They got the moose on the loose all day. Locals call it the rock where the sailors all flock. They'll be fishing in the sea for their pay. <laughs> Nimoy, Nimoy. She's making me um scream, boy. Labrador to St. John's far away. Big swimming dogs named after this place. You, you gotta get a scaly alien, alien today. today. Let's hear it. Thank you. 
doesn't know. <laughs> okay, guys, name the Canadian province, if you will. Is it Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, or Quebec? Remember the clues that we heard? Labrador and St. John's. Big dogs named after this place and nicknamed The Rock. Shanti, what do you think? I said Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Jamar? I said Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Rebecca? I said Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. The answer we're looking for is Newfoundland. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> okay, so that means nobody goes uh, anywhere from where they are right now. Shanti's still at 60. Jamar's still at 50. Rebecca's still at 60. All right, guys. For our next clue, we turn to the... <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. Excuse me. Scott, hang on. What's up? <laughs> Nimoy's on a big lake in Europe on the... Oh, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna... <laughs> hang on just a little bit longer. On what in Europe? On the Rhone River. She was in Lausanne. Then Montreux. Then a city that... Oh, oh. Just tell us a little bit more. <laughs> that, built a, that built a fountain deep in the lake that shoots water up 425 feet. <laughs> Ah! Scott, hang on! Try to grab the... Ah. Yeah, never mind. Okay, guys, name the lake, if you will, please. Is it Lake Como, Lake Geneva, or Lake Constance? Remember the clues that we heard? Large European lake on Rhone River and cities of Lausanne and Montreux. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Trying to find Nimoy. Shanti's ready, Jamar's ready, so is Rebecca. Shanti, what do you think? I said Lake Constance. Lake Const Constance. What do you think, uh, Jamar? I said Lake Constance. Lake Constance. Rebecca. I chose Lake Geneva. <laughs> Lake Geneva. The answer we're looking for is Lake Geneva. Nice job, Rebecca. Okay, so Shanti, you have 60. Jamar, you have 50. You know, I'm sorry. I, I, I probably should check on Scott. Just, just let me go find out if he's all right. Stay loose! Kind of... Never mind. Sorry. Okay, so we know where we're at. Now, Rebecca, you have 70 crime bucks. Okay, guys, for our next clue, we turn to the... Okay, you guys know what that is. It's time for the lightning round. These questions are all about Nimoy's most recent known whereabouts, Lake Geneva. They're all worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. In French, the word mouette means seagull. But on Lake Geneva, the word also describes a mode of transportation. Is it a seaplane a small ferry or a tiny submarine? Shanti. A sea ferry? A, uh, small ferry. a small ferry is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Question two. Listen carefully. What is the Lake Geneva town of Evian famous for? Poodle racing, a school for talking animals, or natural baths? Rebecca. Natural baths? Is right. Nice job. Five for you. I'm sorry. You know, you guys, you know I'm getting kind of confused here. It's because I'm still worried about Scott. If you don't mind, I just, I really, I feel a little bit responsible, and I feel like I should check on him. Scott! Ah! Try to roll when you hit. I you need it. Just roll. You need to roll when you hit. Okay, question three. Here we go. Uh, after World War I, a predecessor to the United Nations was headquartered in Geneva. Was this organization called We Are the World, the United Federation of Planets, or the League of Nations? Shanti. The League of Nations. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> that means, Shanti, you go up to 70. Jamar has 50. Rebecca has 70. I'm sorry. I, I feel he's getting very close, and I just need to probably go and check on him. <laughs> Scott! <laughs> just, Scott, be sure to... Just start... Ah! Oh. Hey, man. You okay? Oh. You all right? You okay? Oh. You all right? Oh, 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 it's my ankles. Ankles. It's tough on the ankles. Medic! Ladies and gentlemen, the falling informant. Taxi! <laughs> kind of a long bit. <laughs> Okay, guys. Uh, so, Shanti, you have 70 crime bucks. Jamar has 50. Rebecca, 75 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. For our next clue... Oh, wait a minute. Excuse me just a moment, if you will, please. It looks like the uh, Chief's popcorn is... Yes, it is ready. If you'll just excuse me, I need to take this into her. She really enjoys a little snack in the afternoon. Chief, here's your popcorn I got no, for you. Not, not now, Greg. Take a look at this. Chief, that looks like the magical popcorn kernel of Hebridor. That's exactly what it is, Greg. Oh, you know, legend has it that every 2,000 years, this small kernel was able to grant three wishes to whomever possesses it. Gee, I tell you, Chief, I know exactly what I'd wish for. Oh, what? A big old stack of Sergeant Croc comics. Whoa! <laughs> 
Oh, you know, I'm really glad you got these, Greg. Yeah. But you know, the only thing is, it's so crowded in here. I, I wish they would have appeared somewhere outside. Want to do the contest? Uh, Greg, I'm so sorry. Let's just sorry. do the it's... contest. Let's just do the contest. Uh, Every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. And when you've collected four loots and locations, write them down on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here's who won today. Congratulations to the winners. Chief, let me see that, will you? Sure. I just... I will find it. How? It's fairly simple, Chief. We still have one wish left, right? All right. Watch and learn. Here we go. I wish I had a big old stack of Sergeant Croc comics. All right, this isn't it. See? Uh, I wish I had a million dollars. All right, that isn't it either. Right. I wish the Chief had a beard. Well, that wasn't it, huh? That was it. Show your popcorn, Chief. I don't know. It kind of gives her an air of authority, don't you think? <laughs> okay, guys. Remember, we're still looking for Nimoy and the Hummingbirds. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Nimoy and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Take the birds to the capital of the United Arab Emirates. It's more westernized than many other Arab cities. Do they wear cowboy hats and say, get along, little doggy? Not that kind of westernized. I mean the buildings, lifestyles, and clothing are similar to those in Europe and the U.S. Oh, now I glorp what you are saying. The city's on an island in the Persian Gulf with beautiful resort hotels, great beaches, and flower-filled parks. Can I let the bee birds graze in the park? Not unless you want to be one jailed alien. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Ajman, Muscat, or Abu Dhabi? Remember the clues that we heard. Capital of the United Arab Emirates, westernized city, and on the Persian Gulf. What do you think, Shanti? I said Abu Dhabi. Uh, Abu Dhabi. What do you think, Jamar? I said Ajman. Ajman. What do you think, Rebecca? I Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. The answer we're looking for is Abu Dhabi. Nice job, ladies. So, Shanti, you go up to 80, Jamar's at 50, Rebecca, 85 crime books. Nice job, everybody. For our next clue, we go to Acme's own 60s soul singing sensation, the Acmets. Stop the geek alien. She's got the hummingbirds. Stop the geek alien. She's just too dumb for words. Nemo, she's de la plata in argentina's biggest city where it's hot yeah in the 80s it was tough to pay your rent there prices rose 310 percent there inflation's gotten better recently and if an alien you see pull her over pull her over Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it San Miguel, Montevideo, or Buenos Aires? Remember the clues that we heard. Biggest city in Argentina on Rio de la Plata and extremely high inflation during the 80s. Rebecca is ready, so is Jamar, and so is Shanti. Shanti, what do you think? I said Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. What do you think, Jamar? Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Rebecca? I chose Buenos Aires. The answer we're looking for is Buenos Aires. Nice job, guys. Okay, for Shanti, that takes you up to 90. Jamar, 60. Rebecca, 95. Crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Now, for our next clue, we have received word that Nimoy have, has left Buenos Aires. So, let's pick up the chase. 
All of these worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Oh, Jamar kind of working out his buzzer there, making sure that works. It does, okay? Here's the first question. Nimoy brought the birds to the city of Montevideo. Name the country she's in. Uh, Rebecca. Uruguay. Is right. Then she whisked herself to the capital of Chile. What city is she in? Shanti. Lima. Sorry, it's Santiago. She hauled the Hummers to the city of Stanley. Jamar. Falkland. Is right, Falkland Islands. Then she beamed over to the southernmost point of South America. Shanti. Land's End. Sorry, it's Cape Horn. Nimoy splashed from Cape Horn to the south. Sh Lin, uh, Jamar. Drake Passage. Is right. Nice job. That means at the end of that round, Shanti has 90, Jamar 70, Rebecca 100. Nice job, guys. Okay. Now it's uh, very important for you to know it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. When you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're wrong, we'll, we'll uh, subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where Nimoy was headed. Now, if you think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, everybody's ready for our final clue. We turn to Agent Judy Bloom from Acme Best Seller Net, otherwise known as Sheila the Great Net. Nimoy is in Port Moresby, the capital of a nation located north of Queensland, Australia. The island has around 700 different local languages, so a common tongue called Melanesian Pidgin has developed. It began as simplified English, spoken between colonists and islanders. Then it evolved into a full-scale language. You only need one phrase in Melanesian Pidgin to catch Nimoy. Buy me, Kalabusim, you now. You're under arrest. Okay, thanks a lot, Judy. Guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Malaysia, Vanuatu, or Papua New Guinea? Remember the clues that we heard? Located north of Queensland, Australia. Capital is Port Moresby, and Melanesian Pidgin is the language. Okay, Jamar, we're going to start with you. You have 70 crime bucks. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Papua New Guinea. Is right. Nice job, Jamar. <laughs> Takes you up to 90. Shanti, you have 90 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say? I also said Papua New Guinea. Nice job, Shanti. <laughs> Takes you up to 110. Rebecca, you have 100 and you're smiling. That's a good sign. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say? I also chose Papua New Guinea. Nice job, Rebecca. That means Rebecca, you and Shanti are going on to the next round. Congratulations. Jamar, listen, man. You were a great detective. You did some great work for us today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. I've been turning this place upside down trying to find that alien. And for all the help you've given us, we're giving you this upside-down Acme travel kit. You get an atlas. Now, if it's hard to read, just stand on your head. The official Carmen walk, a Carmen t-shirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World magazine. But here's the good part about being upside-down. You just take this world ball and... Congratulations! I got this thing fixed. Okay, guys, now it's time for us to go to Papua New Guinea. We're going to try to find Nimoy and the loot, okay? You guys all packed and ready to go? Yes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good, okay. Johnny, why don't you grab the door? Why don't you grab the hat? And let's make our way out there. We are on our way. Keep them long if you like. Here we go. <laughs> I guess we increased our transportation budget. No, I just called in a few favors at NASA. Okay, guys, here we are in Papua New Guinea. Come right this way. Here are your positions right over here. The chief has given us some very important information I want you to look at. So, here it is. There are 15 places here in Papua New Guinea where you might find Nimoy, the Warrant, or the Cuban bee hummingbirds. Here are a few of them. Sail along the 700-mile Sapit River. It provides access to many isolated villages and peoples in this mountainous island country. 
Here's an example of the country's ceremonial costumes and beautiful crafts. We dinky birds are not native to the area, so if you see some, Nimoy's near. Tromp over to the Tari Valley, home of the Huli people. They make these happening headdresses out of their own hair clippings. Finally, head for the Trobriand Islands and case this harvest ceremony. Is that a harmless bunch of bananas or is it Nimoy in disguise? No, oh, that's your briefing gumshoes. Now, go erase that zoo napping space case. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, just as a reminder, you have to find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order in a single turn. If you do that, you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. If you catch her, you get the trip, okay? Rebecca, you were ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Um, the Sepik River? Sepik River. Nothing there, okay? Shanti. Tari Valley. Tari Valley. Nemo. Mm hmm. Nice job. You found Nemo. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead, Shanti. BP Island. Uh, Bibby Island. Nope, nothing there. We turned it back around, but you did find Nimoy. Rebecca. Um, Baina Baina? Baina Baina. No, sorry, nothing there. Shanti. Um, Bootless in Inlet? Bootless Inlet. Nope, nothing there. Rebecca. Anga Banga River? Anga Banga River. The Warrant. Nice job, you found the Warrant. Remember, though, you have to go the right order. Loot, Warrant, Crook. Go ahead, Rebecca. Sepik River? Sepik River. Nice job. We turn these back around. Shanti, your turn. Trobriano Islands. Trobriand Islands. Okay, nothing there. Rebecca. Oak TD Mine. Uh, the Mine. Nothing there. Shanti. Mount Wilhelm. Mount Wilhelm. <laughs> nothing there. Sorry. Rebecca. Flying Fox Lagoon. Flying Fox Lagoon. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Go ahead, Shanti. Kokoda Trail. Kokoda Trail. Burgle birdies. You got the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead, Shanti. Angabanga River. Angabanga River. The warrant. You have the loot. You have the warrant. You need one more. Do you remember where Nimoy is? Tarry Valley. Is she still at Tarry Valley? Nimoy. Yeah. Come here, Shanti. It's a nice, simple smile. Nice job. Step right over here. And okay, as you know, you got the chain here. What you have to do is pull it to put him in jail, so go ahead and do it. Okay, very simply done. Now, we'll talk about your next adventure just a little bit. First off, Rebecca, listen, you were a great detective. You did some great stuff for us today. Chief, what do we have? I've been watching you carefully. Now, luck didn't run your way on this case. But I can tell you've got real potential. That's why I want you to work with our Acme Travel Kit and to check out the international airwaves with this World Band Radio. Please take it with our sincere thanks and congratulations for a job well done. <laughs> it's going to be okay. You're with me. It's going to be okay. Here's the portfolio. Inside, there's a pen and paper. We don't want you to write anything else except where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. Do it. Where do you wanna go? conspiracy out for me. Okay, nice job. Now we know where you want to go. Now we have to find out where Carmen San Diego is. We usually get a call on that. Yes. As a matter of fact, yes. Hello. It's for you. Hello. Oh, another planet, another prison cell. Maybe I could spend my sentence getting to know Carmen better. Look for her in Europe. What'd you say? Look for her in Europe. Okay, Shanti, you and I are going to Europe. Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Portugal. San Marino. Switzerland. Belgium. England. Sweden. Latvia. Belarus. Moldova. Albania. Bulgaria. Greece. Turkey! Greg, let's go to the map! I feel good! <laughs> okay, grab a marker, Shanti. You know what to do. Grab a marker. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to San Marino. San Marino. Do it. No, try it again. Try it again. No, come on back. Come on. Istanbul, Turkey. 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 Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, try it again. Try it again. 
No, come on back. Come on. Mama Sweden. 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 You gotta hurry. You gotta hurry. Yes, that's it. Miss Belarus. 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 No, try it again. Try it again. Belarus. No, come on back. Come on back. Porto, Portugal. Portugal. We know this one. Here we come. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Tirana, Albania. 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 Do it. No, try it again. Oh. Tough break. Did she make that one? No, she didn't. Two in 45 seconds. That's not bad. Time to give her a hand, you guys. Listen, that was really good. You're still a sleuth. We're going to give you the uh, Acme Travel Kit and CD player. That's not bad, right? Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, listen, you've been doing a lot of great stuff for us today. There's one more thing that we want you to do. You know what it is? Do well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger picture from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take me for a ride on a slow bus to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. Where they go to cut right off the road from the Red Sea to Greenland. They'll be singing the blues. Well, they never lost and saw her steal the makeup of the jungle. Carmen San Diego. Oh, tell me. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Tell me. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where could she be? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This is Lynn Thigpen for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. And remember, from the poles to the equator, Acme's strength grows ever greater. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. In the world is Carmen San Diego.